Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Happy New Year 2013. I'm Rob2G, and I appreciate all those who watched me doing my picks and predictions during the NFL 2012 regular season. A better record this season, indeed, compared to last season. So I hope my postseason predictions will come out just as perfect, maybe even as better as last year. So with that, Let's get with our picks. Saturday afternoon, it's the Houston Texans at home to face the Cincinnati Bengals. Texans really shot the hell out of me. They were on top in the AFC, and then they started slipping, losing their last two games to teams. They know they should have won and became maybe a top seed or even a second seed, but that did not happen. The Bengals, meanwhile, winning out and getting into the playoffs after their big wins against the Eagles, Steelers, and Ravens. The Bengals right now are my top this weekend to beat a team like the Houston Texans. Matt Schaub and company, I'm not sure they're going to be able to have this pressure with this Bengals defense that is a total terror at this point in that offensive duel of A.J. Green and Andy Dalton. is probably going to be too much for the Texans to take. I'm going to go with the Bengals to beat the Texans on the road in Houston. Game two in Green Bay at Lambeau Field. It's the Packers back in the NFC wild card game to face this time the Minnesota Vikings. Of course, the Vikings with Adrian Peterson's emergence as a running back after his devastating injury that could have cost him his career. They're going to face a team of Aaron Rodgers and the return of Jordy Nelson. I think the Packers will win this game because too much Packers. Too much game at Cole Lambeau Field. I will think Minnesota will give them a little bit of a run. But I think if Peterson is stopped by that defensive duel of the Packers, then the Packers should have no problem in beating the Vikings at home in Green Bay. On Sunday, it will be the Baltimore Ravens at home to face the Indianapolis Colts. The Ravens, of course, Joe Flacco back in the playoffs Mediocre this season. I'm not sure he's going to be able to get past this Indianapolis Colts defense because their Colts defense are running well at this point. And the emergence of the rookie sensation, Andrew Luck, it's probably going to be too much for that old rain down Ravens team to pile on for. Ray Lewis, of course, this is his last season. He made the announcement early in the week that after Sunday, should the Ravens continue on in the playoffs or not, this will indeed be his last season. So congratulations, Ray Lewis, on your retirement. But he's going to retire on a loss because I got the Colts to shock the Ravens at home in Baltimore in game one on Sunday. And, of course, on Sunday night, it's the big game. The Seattle Seahawks visiting the Washington Redskins. The Redskins are riding a seven-game winning streak coming into this game. Meanwhile, the Seahawks are like the Redskins. They're both got this rookie quarterback, this rookie running back, and I don't know who I want to pick in this game because Russell Wilson, among my rookies of the year, along with Robert Griffin III, it's going to be totally too much. It's probably going to be maybe a constant defensive game and a constant offensive game. It could be a shootout. It could even end up like it did last week with the Redskins pulling away and beating the Cowboys. But I think this Redskins team is in the beginning of their session in the postseason. But I think the Seahawks are going to be the ones to beat the Redskins at FedEx Field on Sunday night. Russell Wilson, too much power. Robert Griffin III lost his power after he was injured, and he has not been at his 100% self. So he'll be doing less running, but... If Alfred Morris can do what he did with the Cowboys last weekend, he might get his team into the next round. But I'm going to go with the Seattle Seahawks to beat out the Redskins on the road in Washington on Sunday night. Those are my picks for this weekend's wild card game. Just post your comments to know who you think will win, who you think will advance. And tell me who you think is going to be the rookie of the year MVP of the year. My top three MVPs this season, Tom Brady of the New England Patriots, Peyton Manning from the Denver Broncos, and Adrian Peterson from the Minnesota Vikings. What a story we have for Adrian Peterson should he win 
MVP of the year. And my rookies of the year consists of three quarterbacks and a running back. Alfred Morris, an emerging star of the Redskins. Russell Wilson, quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks, just brought that team back from the dead. Robert Griffin III brought the Redskins back from the dead and getting their seven straight wins. And Andrew Luck from the Indianapolis Colts, first season, getting his team to the playoffs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you here next time.